Coming up on Columbus Connections, everything you need to know that is coming up for the Muskogee County School District. Stay tuned. Welcome to Columbus Connections. I am your host, David Britt, and if you are the parent of a Muskogee County school student, your electricity and grocery bill is probably about to go up because school is almost out. It is almost the summertime, but there are still some things that you need to know going on in the Muskogee County School District, and just we're going to just talk about that. We used to do a program where we touched on stuff. You're going to see this is my next guest more often. We're going to be interviewing her, talking to her, letting you know what will be going on in our Muskogee County School District. That is none other, none other than the Director of Communications, Ms. Mercedes Parham. How are you doing? I'm well. How about you? I'm good. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Now, you've been on the, on the job for about five months. Tell us how you got there and what you were doing prior to being the Director of Communications. Well, prior to um, serving as a director of communications, I was um, privileged to be the manager of marketing at the Columbus Museum, which involved a lot of community advocacy for the arts um, world, which of course, the museum is also connected to the school district as an educational um, institution. And so that was very interesting pivoting between those roles and with educational initiatives and also um, promoting the arts. Mm -hmm. Are you originally from Columbus? Yes, I am. Awesome. I'm a product of the Muskogee County School District. Awesome. I um, attended St. Mary's Magnet Academy back when we were first becoming a technology magnet. Right, right. Um, and of course, obviously, it's worked out well. And going, and then I went into um, Arnold Magnet Academy and then Shaw High School. Awesome. Yes. What does what is the daily job of the director of communications, or does it vary, or is it? It's, What's it like? it's never a vanilla day. Um, it's yeah. not. A, there's no really typical day. Fortunately, we have 32,000 students, 6,000 employees. If you you do the physics right there, and just any type of um, activity could happen. So many great things that happen throughout the day. So many exciting things that we are able to plug in with all those people involved at the table. Mm -hmm. And where do you fit in? What are some of the things that you do? Well, I pivot a lot between our employees and the needs of. Um, our students and so I'm a internal advocate and an external advocate for the district so my main hat is representing the district wearing the white hat for us. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. gotcha. Mm -hmm. So tell us what's going on. What, what Now the school is about to be out yes. but what can we expect going forward? We want to talk graduation dates and, and just stuff that the general public wants to know. Yeah, and we've got graduation coming up, but as you know, we've, we've wrapped up the testing season, so I'm sure parents are yeah. feeling relieved, a little less stress in the household. Um, but we are also getting ready to prepare our parents for the summer so that they um, don't get that brain drain mm -hmm. while they're out of the classroom. There are plenty of resources and opportunities that we'll be sharing with you all in some creative ways. Um, we've got so many great achievements that we're highlighting with our teachers and um, our administrators who are doing some new and innovative things with our community partnerships. Mm -hmm. We've got um, graduation, of course. Everyone's right. excited about that to see our scholars go on to that next level. This year is a little different. We are going to continue with our live stream courtesy of WTVM. So if you have any relatives or um, any, peer, any peers or friends that will not be able to attend, you can still catch it on WTVM.com or on our website as well at muskogee.k12.ga.us. But we are going to have graduation this year on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. No weekend mm. dates. Wow. Okay. That should be a relief to some. So you can save that um, after you know that celebration for the weekend and not have to rush back and forth either. Right. So that'll be the 22nd, 24th, and 25th. That's right. You're gotcha, good. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, well, my anniversary is on the 25th, so I kind of have to remember that. Oh, part. that's a good thing to remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So and as you touched on something, though. Something that you said is is keeping kids engaged and involved during the summer. That's right. You keep keep some shopping. You want to have fun. You want to go to the beach and enjoy being on break, mm -hmm. but you still want to keep that mind going. That's that's absolutely right. And one of them. Um, our good partners, we are a part, that is a part of the school district, that's the library system. If you mm -hmm. haven't gotten a library card, it's 
free to get that if you're a resident of Muskogee County and if you're an employee of the school district no matter where you live you can go to the library and get a card as well and stay engaged um, they have a summer reading program which is awesome it's all throughout the summer they give mm -hmm. several different discounts and um, they also give so many different incentives for you know the levels that you're reading on and it's all tied to our um, our goals would achieve the achieve 3,000 Lexile score so mm -hmm. you know go on to their website and learn more about it but we'll be yeah. sending some follow-up information so that parents know how to use some of the free um, opportunities within our library systems. There's yeah. libraries all across um, the all across our region that they can mm -hmm. plug into. I had no idea like the stuff that you can do at the library. Oh, gosh. Like, they have a lot of there are so many things in the community that will well that will benefit the community that you can do in our yeah. library system. And I know our kids are really engaged on um, technological devices and most people think of the library as just holding books and things of that nature, but I will tell you, you can do so much with a library card. You can um, you can use it to download you know, music, you can use it to download educational games and resources, and it can teach you how to engage with your student while they're on that technological device. So engaging with them at a level where you're comfortable is something that you can definitely learn with the library. And of course, right down the street from the educational center in the library is the Columbus Museum. So you can plug in there it's always free to visit there and they also have some mm -hmm. great summer right. programs right right now speaking of programs and speaking of, of keeping kids engaged during the summer some of you talked about some of the different partnerships and things that you all do with different organizations in the community that benefit the children absolutely um, one that we are really growing this year is with let's grow steam and if anyone has seen that they have been doing such a phenomenal job um, plugging in the the interest in science technology right. engineering the arts and mathematics so teaching our students to kind of harness that ability in some creative ways and they have been working with downtown Madden Academy mm -hmm. on their um, soapbox derby clinic so you know yeah. they did the soapbox derby um, this past year so now they're going out to schools and showing them how to get ready for it yeah. and they have different stations at the schools it's really great to see the students engaged at that level where they're mm -hmm. comfortable with adults who are um, professionals in the field yeah. and can teach them all about engineering like hands-on so they've been doing that for several weeks with the students and they're gonna have a showcase Right. on Friday, that's May 17th, um, May 18th, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. and it's um, from noon to two. So if you have a student at Downtown Magnet Academy, you need to be there from noon to two to support your student and see all they've been working on. Yeah. It's great that we have one of our own, one of our own Muskogee County residents, somebody who came up in the school system in your position. I just know looking at, at my child and the things that they're doing in school, there are so many more opportunities from the McCullough School, Rainy McCullough School of Arts yes. to, to the, the workshop that Let's Grow Steam is doing. There are so many great things that are going on that we didn't have access to. What is it like being a part of that and, 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 and seeing the stuff taking place, having been a product of the school district? It's a, it's a point of privilege. It's, um cathartic in a sense to yeah. be able to look back and walk in the same hallways that you've walked in yeah, before. It, you it does it, uh, just a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> when you see your old teachers and um, they re they still remember you when yeah. you were five and ten years old. Right. But it's a it also gives you a great point of reference each day to remember why you're doing what you're doing. Yeah. That why yeah. is always in front of you. And our why is our thirty two thousand students. Wow. and our 6,000 employees. And it's, it's really about creating what we call our we. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you that that energy has been a part of the district since I was there. Right. It's just now right. we have the opportunity to really talk about it in new ways and yeah. really engage people where they are. Gotcha. Now what do you all do, the, the, the administrators, what do you all do during summer break? What, what's, <laughs> your, what's your daily life like? Well, my daily life will be planning um, engaging our community stakeholders, activating a community engagement plan. So you'll see me around a lot. Most people are very familiar with me, but you'll probably see me stopping into your churches, into your neighborhoods. And if you see me, um, just know I'm coming to listen. Yeah. I'm coming to listen and see what we can do uh, throughout the next school year to make sure you understand what's going on, mm -hmm. where um, you should plug in, and what you really need to know. Gotcha. So when you say you're coming to listen, because I know when you say that to the public, that means every anything good, bad, and different, they're That's they're, right. they're directing it to you. Yeah. So so you take, but it's good that we have somebody that wants to listen. That it's not it's interactive. Mm -hmm. It's not just this is what we're doing and deal with it. It's 
let us know how we're doing. That's right. Yeah. Communication is a is a two way thing. You got to give and take, um, and. Some of it you have to take some of the criticism. We want to know so that if there's something that's emerging that we can think down the road on how to address that. We line those resources up properly. We use our resources properly. Um, and our greatest resource is, you know, our people. Yeah. So being able to hear what you all think. And sometimes um, there are misperceptions. There are some mm -hmm. myths out there yeah. that I want to hear um, and address in the right way. Mm -hmm. What do you? What are some of the? What are some of the biggest concerns? Or, well, not just concerns because the, we're doing a great job, and sometimes we also always hear yeah. about the concerns. Some concerns, but also, what are some of the, the success stories and some of the great things that you, that sometimes go unnoticed? Well, you know, the concerns and the great things kind of fall in the same hat. Yeah. Um, of course, our why is our students so the biggest thing we talk about is district recognitions. How is the district? you know, keeping up with the times and how are they doing in comparison to other um, districts our size. And I will tell you, it's really hard to compare Muscogee County School yeah. District because we have 57 campuses and we have um, a different demographic than a lot of other cities. And we're also in a urban environment. Yeah. Like your campuses are spread across an urban environment. So that's something that we have to consider. But in that, um, among all those challenges, we have kids doing amazing things, overcoming uh, incredible challenges and showing a lot of resiliency and teaching us yeah. to think in new ways. And so hearing how much our, our parents and teachers engage with each other now, it is really encouraging. We have um, a lot of educators who are doing things on their own. Like we have an educator at Kendrick High School who will be a fellow for the James Madison um, Fellowship. And most people may not know what that is, but he was the father of the Constitution. Wow. So when we look at that and that we have someone who is going to dive in the U.S. history mm -hmm. at that level for the reason to bring it to her kids at Kendrick High School, just so that she can give them a little bit more meat yeah, yeah. than was just on the checklist right. is amazing to see. And then at the same time, Rainy McCullers has um, a guitar um, instructor who will be a, who has been named a full Bright Scholar. Wow! And that's like the top of the top of distinctions um, when you're talking about an educational institution. He's been named as a Fulbright Scholar and will travel to Spain and he will do a collaborative. Um, type thing to learn about how to promote guitar, classical guitar. So imagine what he's going to bring right. back in right. the classroom. And knowing that people of that caliber, of that level, of that experience, who have worldly and global experience, bringing it back to Columbus, it's, it's going to make us really competitive. I think that's part of Columbus's story, being that we're a medium town, we have, being a military town, so we have people here from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Being a relatively small town, but you have places like Aflac that are headquartered here. That's kind of our story is that if you, you we could be overlooked, but there are so many global things going on here. Yeah. And they're from, you know, Ma Rainey and Carson McCullers and, right. and, and people like that. I think that's part of our story that so many, our potential and so many things that we can do and so many things that we are doing and have done. Yes. And education is an economic driver. Yeah. If your education system is supported by the community and embraced and properly resourced, your your economy naturally thrives. Yeah. You know, it's just a, a natural synergy that happens and everybody tends to collaborate and work better together. Of course you have challenges, but education is the yeah. gateway. Yeah. So tell us again, what do we have to look forward to coming up in the near future? Well, in the near future, on Friday, May 18th, you have Downtown Magnet Academy and Let's Grow Steam. They're doing the showcase for their derby clinics. And also on that night, at Rainy McCullers, we're going to have a community concert, 7 p.m., and we've got a special guest conductor. Dr. Lewis himself will be conducting, so you don't want to miss that. And then also we have graduation that is going to kick off on Tuesday, May 22nd. Then we have it again on the 24th and the 25th, and your weekends are free. So hats off to all of our graduates. Awesome. And you're going to, it's going to be broadcasted. Yes. On a few different channels. Tell us about the channels that will be broadcasted on. Absolutely. If you can't make it, it will be broadcast um, through live stream on WTVM.com. And if you can't find it, 
go to our website at muskogee.k12.ga.us or our Facebook page. We'll make sure that we have that link up there for you. And make sure to stay tuned to your connected messages because we'll be sending out a few reminders and a few key notes that you can save on your phone or, or share with anyone. Awesome. And this will definitely not be the last time you see Mercedes here. We're going to keep this conversation going to let you know what is going on, all the great things happening in the Muskogee County School District. Thanks for watching. This is Columbus Connections. Thank you.